Vaccines are safe and one of the best ways to protect yourself, your family, and your community from disease. In fact, the United States has the safest, most effective vaccines in history. Before a vaccine is licensed for use, U.S. law requires that it go through years of testing. Then, once the vaccine is authorized for use in the general population, it continues to be monitored for safety and effectiveness. These same safety processes are used when a vaccine gets authorized for emergency use. One of the national systems that helps keep vaccines safe when they're being used by the public is called the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, or VAERS. This video will briefly describe VAERS and how it's used. People want to do what's best for themselves and their families, and often look to the internet for information to help make informed decisions. There is a lot of conflicting information about vaccines online and in the media, especially about what VAERS is and how it's used. So what is VAERS? Operated by the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, VAERS is an early warning system that tracks any adverse reactions following immunizations. The system is limited to collecting information about vaccines that are licensed or have received emergency use authorization in the United States. Anyone can report to VAERS, including healthcare providers, patients, parents, caregivers, or anyone who witnessed or even just heard of a possible adverse reaction that occurred after getting any vaccine. If there are signals of a potential concern, a group of experts conducts a review. This happened in the spring of 2021 when use of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine was temporarily paused. Thanks to the report submitted by providers and the public, scientists were alerted to potential adverse events and took action to investigate these reports. The Washington State Department of Health encourages people to report to VAERS. It only takes a few minutes to complete a report and the information you share helps keep vaccines safe. If people don't report to VAERS, then scientists miss out on important information from real-world use of the vaccine. The VAERS website also shares vaccine safety-related information with parents and guardians, healthcare providers, the vaccine manufacturers, state vaccine programs, and others. You can visit the VAERS website and view various reports anytime. So, what else do you need to know? VAERS is a tool to help scientists notice trends or reasons they should investigate a possible problem. Most importantly, VAERS does not tell us that the vaccine caused an adverse reaction or a side effect. It only means that the vaccination happened first. Some people have used VAERS data to make a case for vaccines being unsafe, but VAERS data is not a way to draw your own conclusions. Many VAERS submissions report concerns that may not be linked to the vaccination. Also, the number of reactions can appear incorrect because one event is often submitted multiple times. VAERS data should not be used to make a decision for your health. We encourage anyone considering vaccination to talk with their healthcare provider about the benefits and risks. Find more information or submit a VAERS report at vaers.hhs.gov. There are other pieces of the safety system in place, such as the Vaccine Safety Data Link. Learn more about the full safety system at doh.wa.gov forward slash immunization.